In 1904, Georgi Rodinov was born into the family of Alexander Rodinov, an engineer belonging to the engineering elite of the Russian Empire. Two years later, the family moved to Great Britain, where Georgi received an excellent engineering education and began his career working for various engineering companies. However, his true dream was to create super-heavy trucks capable of transporting colossal loads under the most challenging conditions. He drew inspiration from American heavy-duty trucks, particularly the successful Diamond T980, which proved itself during World War II. These American trucks served as prototypes for his future creations. Georgi Rodinoff meticulously studied their design features, analyzing their strengths and weaknesses to create his own unique truck, surpassing all existing analogs. This was not only an engineering, but also a philosophical challenge to create a machine capable of overcoming any obstacles, subjugating nature, and embodying power and reliability. In 1955, three years after registering his company, Georgi Rodinoff presented the world with his first creation, the Rodinoff Atlantic Jersey, a six by four truck. These three years involved thorough design work, the creation of a prototype, and testing that demonstrated the machine's unique capabilities. For the truck's components, Rodinoff used the best of British industry, striving for maximum reliability and performance. The heart of the Atlantic Jersey was a 12.2-liter, six-cylinder Rolls-Royce engine, originally designed for marine vessels, producing 250 horsepower at 2,000 RPM. This was a colossal engine capable of developing significant traction. It was paired with a 12-speed David Brown gearbox, and the axles were supplied by Kirkstall. Subsequent Atlantic modifications used more powerful engines, up to 275 horsepower, and gearboxes with more gears, up to 15. The truck's own weight was 17,800 kilograms, with single rear wheels optionally replaced by dual wheels to increase load capacity. After a series of improvements, including replacing the springs and hubs, fuel consumption while carrying a 104-ton load was 100.23 liters per 100 kilometers, and the maximum speed was 29 kilometers per hour. This was a truly heavy-duty truck. The gross vehicle weight reached 140 tons, earning it a place in the Guinness Book of Records as the world's heaviest truck. Rodinoff hoped for large orders from the British Ministry of Defense, as his trucks were capable of transporting Centurion tanks and other heavy equipment. However, the military opted for lighter trucks from Thornycroft. Despite this, Rodinoff managed to sell a small number of his trucks to Iraq, though this contract was never fully completed. A breakthrough came thanks to comparative tests conducted by the Swiss Army. Based on the test results, the Swiss ordered 10 Atlantic trucks. During the fulfillment of this contract, a more powerful modification was developed, the Super Atlantic Jersey, with a 16.2-liter engine producing 355 horsepower, an 18-speed gearbox, and a gross vehicle weight of up to 300 tons. After receiving the first three Atlantics, the Swiss military replaced their order for the remaining seven with Super Atlantics, recognizing the advantages of the more powerful modification. In the 1950s, Australia saw rapid development of road trains for transporting large loads over long distances. Rodinov saw a new opportunity for his heavy-duty trucks. In addition to the Atlantic, the company produced two Viscom J and R37 vehicles, specially adapted for towing road trains. These vehicles had an extended wheelbase and were equipped with special bodies for transporting livestock. In 1957, after testing in Sydney, all work on refining the vehicles was completed. This resulted in the first road train consisting of a Rodinoff Freighter Conger 37 tractor unit and two trailers, each 22 meters long. 
This train could carry approximately 60 tons of cargo or 110 head of cattle at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour over 1,600 kilometers on rough sandy roads. These trucks were operated in Australia until 1967, after which they were sold. One continued to work for another 11 years, transporting construction equipment, while the other, after being converted into a dump truck, was used for copper or transportation. Georgi Alexandrovich Rodinov died of a heart attack on May 2, 1959, at the age of 55. In the seven years of his company's existence, only 35 vehicles were produced, 11 of which have survived to this day and are rare and valuable exhibits in the collections of private enthusiasts of automotive history. After the founder's death, the company was sold, changed its name, and ceased to exist in 1962. The design documentation was acquired by the British firm Atkinson, which produced similar trucks under its brand for some time. The story of Georgi Rodinoff is the story of a man dedicated to his dream, who created truly legendary machines that became symbols of power and reliability.